McElroy, um, powerful swing, produces a lot of a lot of distance, a lot of power. From a teaching point of view, I don't think it's something that um, you can teach the average person to do. Uh, my opinion with with Rory's swing <coughs> is um, he's, he's just way too far back with his with his takeaway here and way too wide, and therefore he needs to create a lot of um, a lot of hip hip action on the way down, which um, quite funnily enough it then has to slow down for him to be able to hit the ball so that's why he look, it looks like his hips actually stalled coming into impact so <coughs> you can see the move here he's so far back from this line which is where he really needs to be at impact therefore he's got a lot of a lot of uh, hip drive and a lot of hip clear right which actually now <coughs> he looks like he's hips have cleared too much, now he has to stop his hips and actually spin them back the other way to be able to get the club back in front of his body. So here's we get the the hips stopped and actually spins backwards. You can see the you can see the foot <coughs> the way the foot and the leg spin back there for him to be able to get his arms back in front of him. The average person would not be able to do that. They would their hips would would keep on going and they would get stuck behind and you can see from behind here <laughs> coming in the impact is his hips are in the way his clubs coming so far from the inside he can't get it around in front of him so he has to straighten his right leg and stop his hips so they actually stop the ball's already probably traveled 20 meters and then they actually start to go around again and i just think that's something that okay yeah he can do that at the moment he's young and fit and athletic but I think trying to teach someone to do that would be a disaster uh, waiting to happen and I think <coughs> we'll see what happens in the future but my prediction is that he's going to he's gonna suffer from some, some hip injuries and knee injuries probably similar to what Tiger had and he's going to have to change, change that swing down the track but it's not a natural movement that you know you, you would recommend from a teaching point of view you can see that right leg straightening just so he can get his club to come back around in front of him. And it's really quite obvious from the front here when he's, you know, his hips are his hips are cleared so far and his body's so far behind it that he has to stop for the arms to pass through, and then they go again. And it's not a pretty, not a real pretty move. You can see the pressure that's putting on his on his feet and legs there. Don't try that at home. What's also <coughs> quite interesting when you look at look at Rory's short iron swing, um, obviously not being so far back uh, with his with his body at the top here, he doesn't have the stall with the hips. It's more of a free flowing motion where the hips the hips don't have to slow down because they don't have to clear as much. It's just a small small move across this way. His arms can get in front of him much easier, and the hips don't don't look anything like what they do with his with his driver swing. And trying to coordinate <coughs> the timing of those two swings would, would get very difficult and I think you know that's why he's probably not the most consistent ball striker out there although he is, is long.